Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report, and today we're looking at the JumboTel phone system, which is also the Yaystar Cloud PBX. Now, uh, we're going to be provisioning one of these phones, a T29 uh, phone, uh, on the phone system. Now, this is something you can do remotely, uh, but also uh, through the Yaylink provisioning service. So let's jump in and see how this is done. But before we do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. And that way, as you as we add more videos, you get a notification. Uh, we got a lot of great stuff coming out. Also, check out our online store, buyphonesonline.ca. Uh, we've got this phone and tons of uh, uh, other commercial infrastructure uh, equipment on there that you want to check out. Out. And if you're buying more than uh, two or three, please email us. We can give you some great pricing via a coupon code. Uh, without further ado, let's jump in and see how this is done. Okay, so this is the JumboTel interface. And what we're going to do is provision this T29 phone on this JumboTel system. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, we can completely manually um, put all the uh, username and passwords in, which I don't recommend. Uh, Auto provisioning is the best way to do it. The second way is to access the interface and put the provisioning URL into this phone and that's the easiest uh well it's the most consistent way to work for everyone now there's a couple easier ways we can use option 66 on the dhcp server and dhcp servers on every network it's probably on your net or your router firewall and if your dhcp server supports option 66 we can put your provisioning url in there now what that means is when the phone reboots uh, and gets an ip address it will also get the provisioning URL for the phone and pull down the configuration and automatically configure the phone. Now, the fourth way to do it is by using the manufacturer Yaylinks cloud provisioning uh, service. Now, what that does is when the phone reboots and comes back on, it'll check the manufacturer's cloud provisioning service, get the uh, location of the provisioning server, and then pull down uh, the the uh, all the configuration. Now you have to be a larger distributor to have access to that service, so you can check with your distributor whether that's possible. Now, uh, first thing we need to do is access the web interface on this phone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the menu button here, menu, and then it says status, so we're gonna click okay. And now we have an IP address. So the IP address of this phone is 10, 194.126. Now I happen to have it up here. Default username and password are admin and admin. And now, uh, first thing we want to do is go to status. From status, we are going to go to the MAC address right here. So we need this to put into the provisioning URL. So I've copied that to my clipboard. We're going to go up here to the nine dots over to auto provisioning. And then we're going to add this device. So this is a Yaylink T29 phone. So I've got Yaylink. I'm going to scroll down to T29. Where is it? There we go. T29. Uh, we're going to put in the MAC address here that we just copied. It's on my clipboard. And then I don't have any custom templates. So we're just going to use the normal one. Now, we've got multiple accounts here. Generally, you only ever want to have one account. So I've got extension 1000 here. Now, if you want multiple line buttons, you do that in the second tab here. So we can create even four line buttons here and create these as all as line buttons uh, for this phone. And what that means is uh, on the left side of my phone here, I'm going to say line, 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 line. So I can answer multiple calls or I can make multiple calls or do three-way um, um, calling on, on here because I can access multiple goals at the same time. So that's a nice thing to do. Uh, the other options here are uh, can really be uh, set as default. Nothing to worry about here. T29 is a good codec. Uh, so I would just go uh, with this. So we're going to click Save. Okay, so now we've got a provisioning URL in there. Now the next thing is you can see here is a provisioning server link. So we're going to select this. And I'm going to copy that to my clipboard as well. Uh, I'm going to press Control C to uh, copy to my clipboard. Now I'm going to go over to my T29 phone. Now I can go to Settings, 
and I'm going to click on auto provisioning and there's a something in here called server URL and I'm going to just paste that in there and then what we're going to do is auto provision now and then say auto provision yes I want auto provision now and what you'll notice is um, it says configuration updating I can see different things happening on the phone here and it should reboot in just a moment there it is so it's starting to reboot so I really haven't done anything physical on the phone at this uh, this point. Um, I've asked uh, for the IP address, and you can ask the user uh, for that remotely. Uh, you can also check the DHCP uh, server again, because typically on a DHCP server, which again is on your router or firewall, there's usually a page on there for active um, uh, active uh, uh, devices that have recently been given an IP or issued from there. So as long as you have the MAC address of the phone, which is on the box as well, uh, you can you can get this far. So as soon as this finishes rebooting, uh, we're going to have our four line keys on there, and we're going to be able to make and receive uh, phone calls. So really, really easy to set up. I'm going to pause the video so uh, while this is rebooting, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's come back. You can see here it's got a new wallpaper that says Yay Star on it, and we've got four line buttons, uh, and there's all registered. So that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's how you provision a Yaylink phone on the Yaystar Cloud PBX or uh, Jump Hotel phone system. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, please reach out to us. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way, as we have more videos coming out, uh, you'll get a notification. We've got just a ton of stuff happening right now. So please subscribe. Also, check out our online store at Buy phonesonline.ca. Now we got a lot more than phones. We got commercial infrastructure of all kinds on there. So uh, you'll probably find some interesting things and uh, great prices. If you're looking at buying uh, more than a, a couple of handsets, uh, please email us. We can send you out a, a coupon code with some really great pricing. I'm Dar with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching.